Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture we will discuss about what is a pair of lines and what are intersecting lines. So whenever two lines, let's say line A and line B intersect each other, so this is called as intersecting lines. Okay. So these these two lines are called as intersecting lines. So let me tell you one more is what is transversal lines. Okay. Let's say these are two lines A and B and a line L cuts both these lines. Okay. So L is called as the transversal to both the lines okay so subsequently we will discuss about what are these angles let's say this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and I will tell you the relation between these angles okay so let me erase first all this thing so students I have again here draw a transversal line trans transversing line A and B so I will write L is a transversal to line A and B okay so now let us come to the part of the relation between each angles so let me tell you what is interior angle first interior angle means the angles which are in between these two lines so these are the four angles which are in between these two lines so I will write angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 and angle 6 are interior angles and so what are exterior angles and so what are exterior angles so the angle outside the both the lines means angle 1 angle 2 and angle 7 and angle 8 here okay so these are on the outside 1 2 7 8 and these are on inside of two lines okay so how it is interior and exterior angles so now comes to pair of corresponding angles okay so what are corresponding angles students which are on the same side of a transversal and on two different lines same side of transversal means same side if it is on the left hand side then the an another angle should also be on the left hand side and one angle if it is on the right hand side then another angle should also be on left hand right hand side okay so i will say here angle 1 and angle 5 angle 2 and angle 6 angle 3 and angle 7 and angle 4 and angle 8 so students i hope you are pretty clear now what i have written here angle 1 and angle 3 are on the same side and on the same position I mean if it is on upper side of line a then another angle should also be on upper side of side b line B. Similarly for angle 2 and angle 6, 3 and 7, 4 and 8. Now let me write pair of alternate interior angles. So pair of alternate interior. So first we will discuss interior. Okay, 3, 4, 5, 6 I have written are interior angles. So what is alternate means angle 3 and 6 are alternate 3 here and 6 here and 4 and angle 5 are pair of alternate interior angles. Similarly I can say pair of alternate exterior angles I am writing angles as angles okay. So don't confuse between angles and what this sign is. 
so alternate exterior angle is so first i will check what are exterior angles and so on the opposite side if it is angle 1 and angle 8 and angle 2 and angle 7 so these are the pair of alternate interior angles let me write another is pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal ok so pair of interior angles earlier we discussed alternate interior angles now we are discussing interior angle on same side of transversal means angle 3 and angle 5 these are on same side of transversal and also interior so angle 3 and angle 5 and angle 4 and angle 6 ok so I hope students you are pretty clear about all different type of angles which I have discussed ok so now let us discuss if these two lines are parallel now let me erase first all this so student this is a special case of transversal angles ok in which angle line A parallel line B so I will discuss the same angles the corresponding angles was angle 5 and 1 so now they are equal in case of parallel lines angle 1 equal angle 5 angle 2 equal angle 6 angle 3 equal angle 7 and angle 4 equal angle 8 so what I discussed previously what are the corresponding pair of angles now these two angles should be equal ok similarly alternate interior angles are also equal means angle 3 equal angle 6 and angle 4 equal angle 5 ok so students you can directly solve any question based on these property of parallel lines ok so do remember that in case of parallel lines corresponding angles are equal and alternate interior angles are also equal and if you still have any doubt or any question based on this then students please do comment on the comment section I will be happy to help you guys there students in my next lecture I will discuss some question based on these angles ok so stay tuned for my next lecture also thank you students happy learning